This right. is a perfect example of the unintended consequences in giving all of your rights over to the government. This is someone who has no concept of the parameters of government, right. even if it may help people, and it won't. Let's assume <laughs> that it may make people healthier. It's not your job to ensure that people don't over imbibe Mr. Pip. So let's talk about uh, Mike Bloomberg. Again, I want to know what you guys think. Is, it, is he the same kind of billionaire as Donald Trump? Why do people see Donald Trump as uh, a billionaire who's of the people, a little more right. in touch, and Mike Bloomberg as someone who is completely, totally out of touch? I think it's because of exactly the kind of behavior that we've seen from Bloomberg the last two weeks. <laughs> this was his first debate performance last night, and it was universally panned as a disaster. Uh, as a matter of fact, for people who missed it, the, the whole debate was a disaster. Let's okay. talk about sorry, the major policy. Next, no, 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 no. next question is next question. My answer. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you. I would like Senator Warren and Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, this question is for you. I want to talk about, and maybe this is appropriate. <laughs> He sounds like the Lily Tomlin operator. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'll have to call you back. <laughs> that cyanide pill can't kick in fast yeah. enough. Uh -huh. I've got the conch. What's the absorption rate? Do Ethiopian genetics affect it? I have no idea. Are you an ultra rapid metabolizer? The point is, I get that you want to die, Lester. So did I. So let's look at all the reasons that Mike Bloomberg is a piece of shit. All right, I'm going to bring yeah, in my half Asian yeah. lawyer, Bill, because he's uncomfortable, and yes. so I'm going to bring you in more against your will. Perfect. We're going to complain that you're so quiet today. Uh, reason number five uh, is, uh, I think a lot of people remember this, the, the soda ban. Boo! Uh, a lot of people uh, no big ups. maybe <laughs> didn't understand how unpopular this was in New York City, of all places. Uh, so in 2012, Bloomberg actually banned sodas over yeah. 16 ounces in all of New York City. I think that you're not going to see a lot of pushback here at all. I think everybody across this wow. country should do it. He may not have expected touch. to hold another press conference later that same day. You've expended so much personal political capital on this. Do you see I this as a political capital? I'm trying to do what's right. I've got to defend someone forgot my children box. and you <laughs> yeah. and everybody else and do what's right to save lives. Obesity <laughs> kills. There's just no question about it. He was he banned sodas huh. and then of course represented the lollipop <laughs> And the, by the oh way, the ban gosh. was promptly shut down by a, a New York Supreme Court judge. Um, though I will say, to be fair, many people believe he was bought and paid off by Big Quick Trip. So there's that. Yeah. Do with it what you will. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. This right. is a perfect example of the unintended consequences in giving all of your rights over to the government. If right. you declare mm -hmm. everything to be a constitutional right, like they do in, uh, in Germany. I don't think they have the same constitution that we do, but they declare internet a right. <laughs> I don't think they do either. So yeah. if you declare it a right, goods and services, that right can be taken away. This is someone who has no concept of the parameters of government. Right. Even if it may help people, and it won't, let's assume <laughs> that it may make people healthier. It's not your job to ensure that people don't over imbibe Mr. Pip. <laughs> Boo. Who drinks Mr. Pip? Yeah, Mr. Taco Pip. Bell exclusively has it's Mr. Not Mr. Pip. Pip. Also, yeah. by the way, I think you tried to ban Taco Bell. Uh, those are for personal reasons we can't get yeah, into. There's no. an NDA here. Little so uh, <laughs> reason number four uh, as to why he's such a piece of excrement. Um, the ho a lot of people don't know. Do you remember the homeless food ban? I didn't hear about oh. this. Yeah, I don't know. So he did. actually banned food donations to the homeless because the city couldn't, quote, assess their salt, fat, and fiber what? content. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no food at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's better. What? And by the way, that eliminates pretty much everything in a can drive. Oh my God. Right. You're, yeah. not, you're not buying <laughs> prime organic ribeye. Like, Let me toss this in the bag next right. to the Girl Scout cookies. No, mm -hmm. you're putting in the Jolly Green Giant green yeah. beans. Yeah. If anything, now you'd just be doing it to spite Bloomberg. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they were trying to donate the bottom of the muffin. I mean, who would do that? I, 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 I would just give Only them bush the beans. That's what it would be. It's just, I, I would give Bush beans just to piss you off, you Bloomberg. The smelliest city and this in America. It's important to note because he wants to be president of the United States. And I think it's important to know that this is someone who probably won't be president. Oh, let's be honest, he won't be president, okay? Mm. Yeah. If it's Bloomberg and Hillary Clinton 2020, let's just call it Trump 2020. Just put <laughs> yeah. that one up on the scoreboard, let's yeah. be honest here. That's but he awesome. wants to push these diet regulations at the absolute highest levels of government wind up with a lot less uh, sodium in the food. What we eat is really crucial to our health and our fitness. Governments at all levels must make healthy solutions the default social option. For the things that we run because of all sorts of safety reasons, we just have a policy, it's my understanding, of not taking donations. Right, okay, we get it. <laughs> no one should be allowed salty, fatty food uh, ever, except... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoops. Oh. I hate him 
so much. <laughs> It's a hot dog. He likes it. <laughs> Think about it. He, just, he wants to oh set a gosh. rule, yeah. a law that you have no yeah. respect for. At that point, you know what? I got to say, that's, just, that's a little bit gangster yeah. of him. Maybe just Bloomberg <laughs> is a pimp. He's just like, you know what? I'm going to create some yeah. laws. You have to obey, and I'm going to enjoy my street food. Good for you, Love Bloomberg. It. You affected elitist pr Reason number three, this is a good example, and this is also why I would like him to run. Because talk about the coastal elites, right? This is someone yeah. who has, n he's so out of touch with middle America, he doesn't realize that this will come back to bite him. People want to talk about the NDAs and the sexual harassment. The truth is, like Donald Trump has shown, you can turn that into a positive if you have the right spin, <laughs> doctors. Yeah. I said they let you cup, <laughs> cup. Fish hook. <laughs> Of their own volition, folks. So he did say this, though, <laughs> uh, far worse than the NDAs or sexual, that farmers are effectively idiots. So he claimed in wow. this, I think we have this clip, right, mm -hmm. that anyone could be taught, to anyone, anyone could farm, but that tech jobs take, quote, real gray matter. Here you go. And we could teach processes. I could teach anybody, even people in this room, so no offense intended, to, to be a farmer. You, it's a process. You dig a hole, you put a seed in, you put dirt on top, add water, up comes the corn. Yeah, that's, wow. all, that's all that goes Well, in. it's easy. <laughs> wow. Yep. That's because you did farming. I knew I'd seen him somewhere, Bloomberg. Good for him. But I do oh, think... Oh, yeah. Do yeah. you notice that he also said Classic. process -y, singular? Yeah. 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 If I ever say anything that stupid, please immediately call me on it. Not this show. We'll do it afterwards. We'll have yeah. a long list. But there's like there's misspeaking. Like, I get it. I said Nike as yeah. opposed to Nike because of the French Canadian. Or so solace sounds like solace. And that's just because I'm a stupid Canadian. It's a silly country. But processy <laughs> shows you don't understand that word. Right. You don't know what that, what that word is supposed to mean? You don't know what it's supposed to mean. Uh, speaking of things that uh, people don't understand, please do hit the notification bell if you're watching on YouTube. Hit all notifications because uh, otherwise you don't get them at all, I guess, anymore. And uh, subscriptions don't mean a lot. There's also Crowder Bits channel yeah, where you get to go awesome. and watch some exclusive content. Of yeah. course, uh, Mug Club is what keeps the doors open because we're not monetized, but uh, no, that's no, not really no. a spoiler alert. You all know that. Um, if you've read a news article in the last year, Ever. Uh, <laughs> reason number two. We have two more reasons to get to. Then we have Mayor Rudolph Giuliani. Oh, yeah. um, he. I don't know the way to any other way to frame this, but um, uh, he wants old. He wants old cancer patients to die. Yeah. So let fine. me explain the, the context of this. I'm, I'm not. This isn't actually uh, hyperbole at all. He wants to expand. Government-run healthcare, right. of course, they all do, and he's praised socialized medicine in Europe. We know that, but he has some very interesting ideas. I don't think it's any different than the people who are pushing for Medicare for all. They just don't usually come out and say it this way mm -hmm. uh, as to how they might cut some healthcare costs. And we've got to sit here and say which things we're going to do and which things we're not. Nobody wants to do that. You, know, you show up with prostate cancer. You're 95 years old. We should say, go and enjoy, have a nice day, live a long life. There's no cure, and you can't do it. If you're a young person, we should do something about it. Society's not willing to do that yet. So we're going to back up this. What a piece of Right? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. And here's the thing, he doesn't even consider the fact that you're not the one who's supposed to decide. I get that logically people are saying someone's 95, they probably don't have long to live. Here's the thing, it doesn't matter if they want to pay for health care. Bloomberg right. doesn't get to choose whether they live or die. And by the way, this is what happens in socialized uh, health care countries. A lot of yes. people don't know this. That is very common. L later in the meeting, uh, he went on to describe how socialized health care was superior to ours, by the way. And he said, uh, if you look in Europe, we spend here about seven thousand odd dollars per person per year in healthcare. In uh, Europe, it's about three thousand three hundred, less than half, and their life expectancy is two to three years greater. Here's the thing: a lot of people understand. It's a, it, it's a common stat people cite. Life expectancy is not related to healthcare. We have Tess Holiday. That changes the average by like three years. <laughs> yeah. Just so Dragon you know, it's not people fair. can choose to be obese. People yes. can choose to be uh, very fit. A good example of that is Texas, right? You have, I think Houston is the fattest city, I think, in the country. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I believe. And Oops. depending where you go, like obviously there's a higher concentration of them at the last Kmart left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if they're shooting a hover around commercial. They, yeah, they sell true. nothing yes. less than 16 but ounces. I think right. Dallas, if I'm not mistaken, was rated one of, or, or the city with the most fit people because you have a lot of athletes. Here's yeah. the thing. If you were in Texas, you can eat incredibly healthily at a very low price, or you can eat nothing but crap. That's yeah. the byproduct of freedom. That's also the byproduct of being able to pay for your own health care. You get to choose when you no longer pay for health care or when your life is no longer worth living. Bloomberg, it doesn't even occur to him because 
because they believe that all of the rights belong to them. And keep in mind, by the way, this is very common. This is, it's not even a controversial issue in Europe, uh, even to the extremes of death panels. Remember, yeah. people got really mad when we talked about death panels. Do you remember the cases of, uh, I think it was Charlie Gard, Alfie Evans? Yeah. They're both children, severe health problems who wanted to try alternative treatments. The UK government decided that yeah. it was time for them to die. And those are extreme examples. Let's go to the rule rather than the exception. Rationing surgery is extremely common in places like the UK. Elderly blind patients, they're currently forced to wait a year and a half for simple cataract surgery. I had a girlfriend, by the way, in high school whose dad was German, actually fought for Hitler. He refused to get wow. his cataract removed because the doctor was Jewish. True story. Uh, wow. oh, when have you ever actually heard Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren say, we would have better care? They say, no. it might be yeah. cheaper. They say it'll be f less com it'll be less complicated. You won't have to deal with insurance companies, despite the fact that the overwhelming majority of Americans actually want to be able to keep their insurance plans. They always argue it's yeah. the right thing to do, not that it's going to be better quality of care. Right, because mm -hmm. dealing with the government has proven easier than dealing with insurance companies, right? Well, that's their it, argument. Not at all like Medicare, you know, or people like Medicare and Medicaid, but you're dealing with a very, very small percentage of people. Right. You expand it, it gets more difficult. I know. You want socialized health care, a lot of you, uh, I'm not a fan. Reason number one that Michael Bloomberg is, in fact, a piece of shit, um, and I think this is the obvious one, he's, he's, real, he's just a billionaire who's literally attempting to buy an election. Right, notice that here's yeah. something that, here's some numbers that a lot of people don't necessarily know. Have you noticed the charities that have been endorsing Bloomberg? Coincidentally, he gave them millions, by the wow. way. Millions <laughs> of dollars. What about the Democrats surprisingly endorsing Bloomberg? Surely they must believe in his ideas. They like the Liza Minnelli tracksuit that he wears. <laughs> Maybe, but it also doesn't hurt Custom. Bloomberg that the three House Democrats supporting him received $8.9 million from him in Not the 2018 Jeez. midterms. Not connected at all. Right? No. By the way, that, that law works like a charm, doesn't it, with uh, campaign donation caps? It does. Everything yeah. really does. It's I'm glad they got Dinesh D'Souza. That jerk. Yeah, they got yeah, Dinesh D'Souza. <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza did hard time for, I think, giving five grand to a yes. friend of his running yeah. for a Senate seat. It didn't even win. Yeah. He's walking around with an ankle bracelet, having a blow in his Nissan <laughs> to make sure that he can go down to the store to get a gallon of milk. This guy's giving $8.9 million yeah. to people endorsing him on a national platform. What a piece of shit. <laughs> And have you seen the folks, uh, this is another thing, the folks endorsing uh, Bloomberg on social media? Hey, I take that personally. I will spend that $150 <laughs> yes. wisely. Yes, exactly. so will I. He'll pay anyone with 1,000 to 100,000 followers on Twitter or Instagram $150 for an endorsement, which begs the question, how much for a million or five million YouTube subscribers? Nope. You can reach out at uh, info at <laughs> well, This is, I think, the big problem that I have with, with Bloomberg, I think, is mo uh, it's most emblematic because it's just sort of bumbling. Bernie yeah. Sanders proactively, uh, blatant, just wanting disregard for the Constitution or parameters of, of, of appropriate limited government. I don't think Bloomberg has any understanding mm. because he's no. so wealthy, he's such an elitist, he's surrounded by yes men, he has been for so long that he doesn't understand that he's not a king, that he shouldn't be in charge of these issues. And by the way, let, let's compare this to President Donald Trump when people say, well, he's a billionaire, so he's a dictator. But right. really, by lower taxes and deregulation and allowing that more people to have guns, like, allowing more businesses yeah. to open open up, fewer stringent regulations. You can say whatever you want, but that's not exactly the, the actions of an autocratic dictator. Yeah. Bloomberg thinks he can control what you drink. Yeah. And you want to put this man in the office? I'm saying that, of course, facetiously. I know that none of you want to put him in office <laughs> anywhere at any point. And these are, and we have to get to Giuliani a little bit, these are the yes. unintended consequences of big government. It may sound good at this point, Medicare for all. Let's assume that the quality of care would actually be better, or Medicaid for all, or some kind of a centralized public option. Let's assume it would actually be better. It doesn't matter, because long term, you lose your choice, and they can decide what health care is taken away. Right. Maybe long term, people not drinking big gulps, I think we would all agree, lots of sugary sodas, not good for you. But if you think, hey, that will be better for me, so let's have the government step in. It's their job to, to keep us safe. It's their job to ensure health. Guess what? It's their job to take away whatever they want. These are the people who told us that saturated fat and that egg yolks were bad, that tallow was bad for McDonald's fries, so they started cooking them with hydrogenated vegetable oil. Now they're going, oh, sorry, we were wrong about that. Sorry to everyone who has elevated LDL and cancer. We were mistaken, but the vegan activists and the USDA kind of screwed the pooch on this one. By the way, you can eat eggs now. You. I am so tired <laughs> of being told that I cannot eat eggs or bacon, and now, now it's a good thing. Yeah. And then you have people who go so far, yeah. now they're the carnivore diet, and now the USDA is going the other way. We don't know 
What is the food pyramid? Can anyone tell me what the appropriate food pyramid is? Whatever Mike Bloomberg says, I believe the opposite. Let's just go with that. Whenever you allow the government to step into the realm of no longer rights, what are rights? They're enshrined in the Constitution. Freedom of speech, freedom of self-preservation, freedom from uh, unwarranted search and seizure. But goods and services like drinks, like healthcare, like, yeah, even drinking water being filtered and piped to your tap. When you allow the government to have complete control over goods and services, they can take them away and you end up with 12 ounce soft drinks, which we all know are not satisfying and some might argue more importantly, death panels. This has been this week's What a Piece of Sh You know what's in here? It's just water. That's why they call it acting. What? It actually smells garlicky. There's something wrong with the water. I think it's going through the ice maker. We don't have we don't have the baking soda in the fridge. If you like this video, uh, subscribe, hit notifications, or just check back every single day because we upload a new video every single day. And this was actually taken from the full show, a full hour show that we upload every single Thursday. Click that right now. Go watch the entire show. If you don't want to, you don't you don't have to. But if you if you stop by, you know, just don't bother me. I'm gonna enjoy my garlic water.